So hello everyone, my name is Rakesh Sharma and I'm founder and CEO of Quest Labs. Today I'd like to talk about how we used capabilities of FourSDU to build and maintain consumption ready data using our data quality management solution on top of the OSDU data platform. So Alloy DQM is the platform uh, having built-in data and business rules derived from emerging OSDU standards and PPDM that control, controls the ingestion of data. So Alloy, Alloy DQM is, is based on microservices and it's, it's a cloud native application orchestrated by Kubernetes. It's, it's a highly scalable application available for conventional and new energy streams. So now basically, uh, we know that to push data in OSDU uh, platform, we can anticipate data migration jobs, ETL pipelines, CLI tools, and various other data ingestion approaches to finally populate data in platform. Now as data is, is uh, as OSDU is data centric and a schema being its blueprint, quality of data should be centrally defined and managed to build fit for purpose data regardless of ingestion source and approach. So we built data, uh, Alloy DQM, that is data quality as service on top of the OSU data platform to build and maintain reliable and fit for purpose data in OSTU. And we believe that data of known quality will certainly accelerate and promote adoption of OSTU. So now I'll, I'll talk about a little bit of, of the benefits of Alloy, which, which it brings to OSTU. So it, it certainly elevates trust in data with full data lifecycle APIs and built-in data and business tools derived from OSDU standards and PPDM. It helps data governance team to monitor and oversee data across organization and they can intervene when required. And this will, this will eventually help to, uh, to have consumption ready data in your data supply chain. It reduces significant time wastage and possible risk as QC than necessarily done by individual who may not be qualified to do so. And then for, for instance, if, if a new entity or cus, custom schema is added to the system, associated data quality rules will provide a gateway to, pub, uh, to various publishers and, and data of known quality can be guaranteed to the consumers of, of the data ecosystem. Again, data at center and uh, schema being the blueprint, relevant business and data rules can be incorporated easily with our plug and play framework to produce reliable data for other streams like wind, solar, CCUS, etc. Now, I like to highlight major advantages of OSU data platform that helped in our Alloy DQM journey. Stress core services are provided by a platform, it reduced major efforts to de develop solutions. This eventually saved a lot of time and reduced, uh, our, uh, reduced time to, 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 the, to the market. And being, being a unified platform for conventional new energy stream, we were able to develop data quality management system for any stream supported by OSDU. Now with regards to interoperability, Quality attributes can be consumed in other applications, not limited to UI, uh, like various analytics, uh, data, and domain apps. We strongly believe that Alloy DKIM on top of data platform will have great advantages for consumers. So Alloy DKIM will, uh, will act as a quality gateway to your data and eventually reliable data can be pushed and consumed in data supply chain. Now, data-centric quality rules can be defined and, and relevant changes will be rolled out data system, uh, data ecosystem wide and thus reduces efforts and certainly reduces time to market to produce fit for purpose data. So, so majorly cost being, being, being function of efforts and time, substantial cost can be saved to build and maintain stable data foundation. So as far as uh, usage is concerned, Alloy DQM can be used in pre-ingest, post-ingest and enrichment stages. To give you an uh, idea about pre-ingest, so, so certainly uh, with, with, uh, with a rich set of APIs, UI, uh, data of known quality can be built and maintained in OSDU. So for instance, 
uh, we know that with, with OSU design principles, data should be inserted uh, in platform uh, with, with, uh, with very less friction. But, but uh, however, we know that uh, this, this obviously uh, uh, enters uh, uh, garbage data into the system. So in those cases, uh, pre-ingest checks can be performed and, 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 and uh, various enrichment stages can be awarded to, to have a fit for purpose data. And, 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 and in post-ingest stages, uh, governance team can, can have corporate storage by data health checkup. Right, and 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 we also got capability to tap the notifications uh, from OSU data platform. So so with 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 every insert or update, uh, system can perform quality scan to potentially find issues, and eventually, um, it it can trigger uh, various manual or automated workflows for enrichment or auto fix potential issues. Now let's let's proceed for for a, for a short demo. So I have, I have two, two instance up and running. So, so this, this one is, is pointing to uh, Google pre-shipping instance. And the second one is, is pointing to, to the instance provided by Fortis and Lining. So the, for the sake of differentiation, uh, I, I turned on the dark mode on, on, on uh, the other instance. So to start with dashboard, so, so this dashboard gives a, a, a data storage file health, data health check check uh, highlights so so with, with, with the total number of rec records and number of consumption ready and this gives the the number of uh, records being scanned by the system and the potential uh, quality issues this is the scorecard of, of complete uh, storage right and and this is the quality over time so this will certainly help governance team to check if if the quality of of complete uh, uh data store is 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 ab above a, a particular threshold level we also got quality coverage um, highlights so, so this will also help uh, governance team to see if, if a particular entity was kept in in pre-ingest or post-ingest stage and, and, and then um, a relevant scan can be initiated to have a fit for purpose data in the system. We also, we also got, uh, got a very good feature, we call it rule impact. So, so this will give a preview of major errors in, in the system, right? So in, in this system, so there are you know, uh, lots of proven references, right? And, and other other uh, errors also, and and this will this will help uh, obviously data owners and governance team to to come up with a, with a solution to fix those errors, and and they can plan strategies to to uh, avoid those errors in in future. This is another uh, error impact uh, area wherein uh, system presents if if an error is is repeated uh, in in multiple records. So for instance here, uh, this, this value is, is missing in, in 26K locker type. So once we fix, uh, obviously once we, uh, this, this broken reference is fixed, then, then uh, most of the errors in, in locker type can be, can be resolved. So, that, so the users can also uh, filter uh, dashboard by entity. There you go. And we can see here that uh, for, for well kind, we, we got substantial errors, right? And 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 that users can can you know uh, go, go to this these particular errors to find uh, the, the relevant details. So let's let's try to pick this one. Okay, so that that error is, is 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 you know affecting thirty one wells. So let's let's drill down, and obviously this 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 screen presents uh, various dimensions calculated by system. As you can see here, that that the UWI and well name is missing for this this um, well record, right? 
And apart from that, this, this uh, section presents a scorecard for this, this individual uh, data set, data, and, and the number of errors. And these are the you know, timeline of, of uh, business rules uh, checked by system. Also, and we, we can also see here, uh, system performed uh, uh, quality checks based on schema. And, and this is this is this is a you know very very good feature wherein uh, system perform checks uh, uh, based on schema out of the box. So so we don't need any any configuration or mapping for that. So the uh, so system checked all of the references based on the schema metadata and the patterns and if the required properties exist or not. So let's clear this. And now let's let's go to quality run screen. So this this screen gives you uh, the the quality runs performed on on entire data set, and then users can obviously filter uh, quality runs or or, or the uh, uh, records where these these business rules were failed. So let's let's pick pick a very uh, very very minor one. So leading and trailing white space, and that's that's a a minor error, but eventually it affects a whole data supply chain because we know that practically in, in various scripts or, or in, in various um, system um, spaces are, are skipped, right? So eventually it, it you know, um, affects data quality. Let's, let's check this, right? So this, this uh, data dot name got a space, right? So this, this can be fixed. If, if we know that error. Now let's let's go to a uh, rules library that, that I was describing. So we, we got a built-in rule library and how, how that library used to derive all these, um, these results. So to start with, I'll, I'll, start, uh, I'll pick a schema-based check. So this is, this is a, you know, a, a library which performs the quality scan based on the schema metadata, right? And, and, and we don't need any configuration for that. So this is, this is a default um, uh, rule set applied to all schemas. Now let's, let's pick another one, suppose. So it contains uh, the, the, the rules, rules required to, to do the various quality, accuracy and completeness scan can offer of a valuable. And, and furthermore, uh, more and more rules can be added to, to our built-in library because of the plug and play nature. Now, apart from built-in library, uh, we understand that to produce a, a good quality record, uh, there are you know, corporate specific requirements to, to perform specific checks. To cover that thing, we also got uh, a section where uh, custom rules can be created inside the application. So this, this one is a custom rule that I was, you know, uh, filtering records. So let's, let's pick this one. So, so users can define custom rules based on, on simple uh, expressions, right? And they can select a uh, relevant dimension and those can be attached to, to any, any schema. And, and obviously, these are the you know uh, details so that we can we can filter out those those um, business rules uh, while applying to schema. So uh, you can also uh, specify energy streams. So so once once more and more energy streams are supported on OSU data platform, so uh, we would be adding uh, various uh, built-in and and various other data rules to the system. Now let's go to schema. So we, we got a very good good uh, feature where in system scans the schema from OSD instance, right? Apart from, from scanning the metadata, it also scans all of the attributes right? and, and, and the required, um, uh, uh, like the, if, if that property is required or not. This is the section wherein uh, users can assign a business rule to the schema. So considering schema as a blueprint of data, so, so, that, so the data quality rules should be assigned uh, as, 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 a, as, a, as close as possible to, to the data itself and then the schema, right? Rather than scattering to various, various other applications or utilities. 
So users can can pick uh, business rules from from our library or what the uh, custom rules they added in in the system. Now let's let's go to uh, to a, a, a data set and let's try to perform a quality scan. And, and for uh, for information, this uh, the instance is, is fetching uh, data live from OSDU instance, so we are not caching any data. So this is this is the button to initiate a scan. And some sometimes it it takes time because obviously. Um, it needs to check all of the all of the references, and once once uh, the system is deployed along the OSDU cluster, then obviously uh, uh, that time can be reduced drastically. Let's let's drill down to the detail, and obviously this this section uh, lists out all of the quality runs performed uh, on this data set, and 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 this this uh, highlights the quality over time for for this particular data, selected data set. And as you can see here, system checked all of the references as 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 um, as defined by the schema metadata. Pattern check. Plus, system also checked uh, some of the other you know data based on built-in library assigned to the schema. Now let's try to run a complete scan on a, on a, on a particular um, uh, data set and that's 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 important because you know uh, once we have data in the system so so we may uh, uh, need to add more rules uh, that needs to be checked for for the particular data set and for those cases we also got a capability to to bulk check the the data set so let's let's initiate a scan Let's go back to quality runs page and then you can see here a quality scan is initiated for, for 426 records. Let's refresh that. Right. So that's that's how uh, a bulk scan can be initiated. Right. And apart from all these uh, uh, system, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, system also got a uh, feature to, to tap notification for OSDU. So for instance, if, if a record is being updated or a new record is added to the system, um, LOID can perform the relevant scan automatically. I catch a quick two minute rem reminder. Okay. Right. So now, uh, okay. So so to, to re-emphasize, so, so LOID QM, uh, can be used in, in full complete data life cycle to have consumption ready and fit for purpose data on the top of OSDU. And this concludes my presentation and demo, and I'm happy to answer questions if you have any.